All right, so we are gonna start on our back in constructive rest. And just, just so you guys know, the cat is in my office. So if she becomes a little bit rambunctious, I'll, I will <laughs> yeet her out of here. But um, for now, I'm living in the danger zone. All right, so come down onto your back, feet nice and wide, knees dropping in towards each other. And just to start, if it feels comfortable to do so, bring your hands to your belly, rearrange your shoulder blades and your tailbone, make sure everything feels good. And then just give your body a moment or two to settle in. And then as your body starts to quiet down, settle into your mat, just take a second to notice, is there any little wiggles or adjustments that you can make that would allow your body to be just a little bit more comfortable? And if so, take a second to do all of that. And then see if you can just let your awareness come down to your feet and your toes. And if you are gripping or holding tension in your toes, maybe give your toes and the bottoms of your feet just a little wiggle, mush them around a little bit so they feel like they can really soften and get steady on the floor. And then let them come to a sense of stillness. And then as your feet find a sense of stillness, Bring your awareness up to your head and then see if you can just start to gently rock your head side to side. Just a small and gentle movement. It doesn't need to be extreme and it doesn't need to be full range of motion. Just allow a gentle turning of the head and then start to notice how your head feels. Notice how your neck feels. Eyes can be closed or open. That's totally up to you. Take one more turn of your head side to side and then let your head come back to center. And then we're gonna bring it into a gentle nodding of the head up and down. So this is gonna be a super small movement, a tiny tilt of the chin upward and a tiny tilt of the chin down. So you won't get a big range of motion here, but see if as you tilt your head, can you feel the back of your head connected to the floor? Take one more tilt of your head up and down. And then let your head find a neutral position, come into a little stillness and then leaving one hand on the belly, bring one hand up to the heart. So one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart. And then just take a nice full inhale, fill your lungs up. And a slow but natural exhale, just let all that air go. Nice big breath in, fill your lungs up. Slow exhale, letting all that air go. One more breath here. And then the hand that's on the belly, bring that up and stack it on top of the heart. And then just give a second, let your shoulders rearrange so that everything feels comfortable there. And then with your hands on your heart, eyes closed or open, that's totally up to you, but take a moment here to set an intention to honor your mind and your body throughout your practice. Never doing anything in your practice that would cause your body pain and treating yourself with love, care, and respect. Soften your jaw, soften your cheekbones and soften your eyes. And then releasing your hands from your heart, we're gonna take it into some I Dream of Genie arms. So we're gonna catch hold of our elbows in a little square across the chest. And then just start to gently pull the elbows side to side. So we're bringing the elbows slightly across the midline of the body, but keeping the hips nice and anchored and the back of the body nice and anchored on the floor. 
And then we're gonna take those I Dream of Genie arms as we draw them side to side, but now we're gonna bring them up and down as well. So as you pull them side to side, bring them up toward your forehead and then pull them back down, maybe coming towards your belly button. Pull them side to side, bring them up. And then pull them side to side as you bring them down. Awesome. One more time up and down. And then releasing your handhold, bring your arms into cactus or goalpost position, and then keeping that cactus or goalpost position, start to rock your head side to side, just a gentle turn of the head. And now see if you can find maybe a slightly bigger range of motion, turning a little bit further each side. One more turn of your head each side. And then as your head comes back to center, we're gonna come back to those I dream of genie arms, but switch the cross in your arms. So other arm comes on top. And then once you've got your handhold, just start to pull the elbow side to side. And then start to move that up and down. So pulling the elbow side to side as you move up and then pulling side to side as you move down. Nice, one more up and down. And then when you feel ready, release into your cactus or goalpost arms, come back to that turning of the head side to side, but now we're gonna add the knees as well. So as your head turns in one direction, knees are gonna drop in the opposite direction, meet in the middle and then take it away to the other side. And then just start to find a nice rhythm here, moving at a pace and a depth that feels good to you. One more time each side. And then the next time your knees drop over to the right, head turns to the left, stay there. Let your knees get nice and heavy. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Inhale and bring everything back to center and then knees are gonna drop to the left, head's gonna turn to the right. Let your knees get nice and heavy. Take a nice deep breath in. Nice, slow breath out. Beautiful, and then bring it all back to center. Knees come to center, head comes to center. Now we're gonna walk the feet in a little bit closer. So feet are about hip width distance apart, heels a little closer to the butt, and then let your hands find a comfortable neutral position. So maybe anatomical position about 45 degrees away from the body with the palms facing up, if that feels nice. And then we're gonna take our awareness down to our feet. So as you inhale, lift your toes away from the floor, just your toes, and see if you can spread them out just a little bit. And then as you exhale, soften your toes down to the ground. Inhale, lift your toes up. Exhale to soften down. One more just like that. Inhale, lift your toes. Exhale, soften your toes down and now take it into your heels. As you inhale, lift your heels away from the floor. Exhale, soften your heels down. Inhale, lift your heels up. Exhale to soften down. One more just like that. Inhale, lift your heels up. Exhale to soften down. And now we're gonna to start to pull the right knee in towards the chest. Catch a gentle handhold and then take that knee, draw it in circles, go in one direction. Take that knee, draw it in circles, go the other way. Nice, and then just right hand is gonna hold the knee. You can release your left hand. Swing that right knee out just towards your right shoulder. So swinging it out to the outside of the ribs, take a big breath. And then pull it back in, release that foot to the floor and take it to the other side. Bring the left knee in, get a gentle handhold, draw that knee in circles, go in one direction. Beautiful, and then take that knee, draw it in circles, go the other way. Nice, and then just holding on with the left hand, swing it out just a little bit to the outsides of the ribs, take a nice big breath. And then pull it back in and bring the right knee into me. So both knees are going to pull into the chest. And then we're going to get a lightly firm handhold. So we're going to hold on to those knees with a little bit of firmness. Push your knees gently into your hands just to feel a little sense of resistance. And then soften and relax, drawing the knees in towards your chest. And then do that again. Push your knees into your hands. Just a gentle resistance. Doesn't need to be extreme. And then soften again. 
And then one more, just like that. Push your knees into your hands and then soften and draw the knees in. Cool. And now we're going to take those knees into a wider position. So swinging them a little bit side to side. And then we're going to invite a rock in. And as you start to rock, turn your head and look to the left and look to the right as your hips rock a little bit on the floor. And then we're just going to find a little space here. So notice what's in the room that you're working in on the right side and what's in the room that you're working in on the left. And then just feeling around to see if you have some clear space. We're going to switch our hand holds. So hold on to the backs of the knees and we're going to take it into a sort of happy baby situation. So the legs are lifted up just a little bit higher. And now we're going to start to roll. So we're going to roll from side to side, just assuming that you have a clear space. So if you don't have a lot of room to move, you might stay with the legs more up towards the sky. But if you have space to roll, we're rolling across the back of the body, roll to the right, roll to the left, and just make sure your elbows and your shoulders feel safe and comfortable. Nice, take one more rock side to side. And then as you come back to center, release your handhold, pull your knees gently into your chest and then set your feet back down on the ground. We're gonna move right into pelvic tilt. So feet about hip width distance apart, heels a little close to the butt, hands alongside the hips. Inhale, a nice big breath. Awesome, and then as you exhale, press your low back into the ground, tilt the pelvis just a little bit. Inhale and release to the natural curve of your back. Exhale, press your low back down. Inhale to release. Exhale to press your low back down. One more time, just like that. Inhale, release. Exhale, press your low back down. And then finding your neutral spine, we're gonna lift the legs back up, catching the backs of the thighs and start to find a little bit of a rock and roll. So tailbone to top of head. We're gonna take a couple of rocks and rolls here, just working the length of the spine. And then once you feel good and ready, catch a little momentum come up to a seated ragdoll. So feet are gonna be about hip or shoulder distance apart with a super generous bend in the knees. And then think up and over, pull the belly up and over and then fold over, let your belly and your chest rest on your thighs, let your hands find a comfortable handhold and then soften, soften through the back of your body, the back of your neck. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, nice and easy, walk your hands up your shins. We're gonna spin those legs around, finding our way into a tabletop position. So come on to all fours, wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And then once you found your way there, right away, curl both sets of toes under. We're gonna pull the butt back towards the heels and then come forward, shoulders in line with the wrists. Nice, pull your butt back towards your heels and then come forward. Pull your butt back towards your heels and come forward. One more time with that fluid movement, pull your butt back towards your heels and then come forward. And then this next time, as you pull your butt back to your heels, press a little bit into your palms. So go just a little bit deeper, pushing your butt back towards your heels, getting that nice big stretch in the toes and the bottoms of the feet. Take a nice big breath in. Slow breath out. Awesome, and then lift up. We're gonna release those toes and then tap the feet out. So make a little bit of noise as you tap out the tops of the feet. Just make sure you stay safe and comfortable. Don't injure yourself. Take a few more taps, just get a little bit of vibration going on in those feet and then let it all come to stillness, move right into puppy pose. Keep your hips in line with your knees, walk your hands towards the top edge of your mat. Let your chest and your forehead melt down. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Awesome, and then right away, walk yourself right back up and in, and we're gonna thread the needle. Right hand's gonna reach up towards the sky. We're gonna take that hand, thread it through and underneath. So right ear, right shoulder are gonna come down to the ground. Take one good breath here. And then when you're ready, push into your left hand, unwind, come back to that tabletop position and then over to the other side. Left hand's gonna reach up nice and high. Thread that left hand through, left ear, left shoulder to the ground. One good breath here.
Beautiful, Pe press into your right hand, lift yourself back up to that tabletop position, curling both sets of toes under, pull your butt back toward your heels, and then we're gonna peel the knees up. So push into your palms, lift your knees up away from the floor, feel that little bit of strength in your legs, and then release your knees back down. And we're gonna do that again. Push into your palms, lift your knees up, and then release your knees back down. One more time there. Push into your palms, lift your knees up. Awesome, release your knees back down. And then we're gonna move ourselves forward so that we come to a sphinx position. So walk your elbows and forearms down onto the ground. So elbows are in line with the shoulders. Step your feet towards the back edge of your mat. Pause for a moment in that low plank position just to feel a little strength in your center. And then when you're ready, gently release your knees down, move right into your sphinx. Lift your heart, a little squeeze between the shoulder blades, a little lift through the crown of your head. Let your awareness come down to your feet. So notice your toenails connected to the floor. Notice the tops of the feet, any parts of the tops of the feet that are connected to the floor, your knees, your tops of your thighs. And then see if you can just find a little energy, draw your tailbone toward your heels, create a little bit of space in the low back, draw your elbows back toward your ribs, take one more breath. Beautiful, and then walk your elbows nice and wide, come down a little bit lower onto your belly, shake your butt just a little bit, just to wiggle out that low back, and then hands alongside the shoulders, elbows soft at the ribs, three low cobras here. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale to lower down. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to lower down. Nice, one more time, just like that. Inhale, lift up. Exhale to lower down, push your way through a tabletop position. And then we're gonna sit back into Thunderbolt pose or hero's pose. So knees together, toes together, and we're just gonna let the ankles drop out a little bit. So your feet create a little bit of a V. So you're gonna sit back onto your heels, sit up nice and tall, and we're gonna take it into a gentle twist. So left hand's gonna find the outside of the right thigh, rotate to the right, take a nice big breath. Wonderful, and when you're ready, release, take it over to the other side. Right hand finds the outside of the left thigh. Left side, rotate to the left. Nice, and then when you're ready, release. Catch hold of the knees and three cat cows here in the seated position. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your chin, arch your back. Exhale, round back, round your shoulders, look toward your belly button. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale to round, beautiful. And then find a neutral spine, float yourself forward, find your tabletop position, curl your toes under and exhale up to downward facing dog. Once you found your way there, just a few pedals of the legs. Beautiful, one or two more pedals of the legs. And then when you're ready, look forward, Walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to a folded rag doll at the top of the mat. Super generous bend in the knees, making space for your belly and your chest, and then let everything dangle here for a second. If it feels good, grab your elbows, let your head hang nice and heavy, big inhale. Slow exhale. One more breath. Relax your fingers towards the ground, bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to standing, roll your shoulders up to your ears, around, down and back, and then you're gonna take your right hand, reach up, pat yourself on the back and then see if you can take your left hand, catch hold of that right elbow, draw it in just a little bit closer. So you're finding that little bit of space between the shoulder blades and once you've got a nice little handhold, we're gonna lean over to the left, taking a gentle side bend, take a nice big breath in. Slow breath out. On your next inhale, lift up, release your hand, hold from that elbow, float your arms down, shoulders down and back, and then take it to the other side. Left hand's gonna reach up. Pat yourself on the back. See if you can catch hold of that elbow with the right hand. And then once you've got a hand hold that works good for you, lean over to the right. Nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Beautiful, lift up, release that elbow, float the arms down, roll the shoulders down and back. And then we're gonna take it into some light little shirt sleeve twist. So just let your arms swing side to side. And as you let your arms swing, give a light little tap to the hips. Beautiful, one more twist each side. 
and then bring it back to center, find your mountain pose, anchor into your feet, lift up through the crown of your head. Inhale, reach your arms up and look up. Exhale, bend your knees, hinge from your waist, fold down to the ground. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, bend your knees, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to standing, roll your shoulders up to your ears, around, down and back. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale to half forward fold, keep that length in your spine, bend your knees, push into your feet, inhale, arms up. Hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center. We're gonna interlace the fingers here, flip the palms, and then we're gonna take a little softness into the knees so that we can round through the back of the body. So as you push your palms forward, round your shoulders, pull the abdominal muscles in, push the palms, round the shoulders, knees are soft and bent. Take one good breath here. Beautiful, and then lift up, unlace your fingers, let your hands float down at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold, knees bent or straight, totally up to you. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step the right leg back, warrior two, drop the back heel down, turn the toes out, right hand is gonna pick you up. Beautiful, take a moment here just to feel nice and solid in your legs and your feet, and then draw that strength up the side of the body, out through the fingertips, gaze past your left hand, take a nice big breath. Cool, one bow and arrow pose. So we're gonna take that back hand, bring it forward, clasp the hand, pull back like you're drawing a bow and arrow, release that hand, take it into your peaceful warrior, drop the back hand, reach the front hand up. And then we're gonna lift back up into our warrior two and to triangle pose. So straighten that front leg, pop the back hip out, reach through the torso. So you might land at the thigh, the shin, the floor, or your big toe, whatever handhold works good for you. Leverage forward. So those bottom ribs are gonna pull forward. Top ribs are reaching up towards the sky. Right hand extends up. If it feels comfortable to do so, turn your head and look up towards the ceiling. Take a nice big breath. Awesome. Anchor into your feet, nice and strong through your side body. Lift yourself up, reverse that triangle, drop the back hand, reach the front hand up. And then we're gonna spin all of that down to the ground. So bend that front knee, pivot your back heel, circle your arms down. Beautiful, plant your palms, step back to plank. Lower your knees, rotate the eyes of the elbows, hug your elbows into your ribs. Inhale up to a cobra just as high as you like. Exhale and find your way up to down dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, find a soft forward fold at the top of the mat, maybe a little bend in the knees, take a big inhale, slow exhale, press firm into your feet, inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead, hands to heart center, interlace the fingers, bend the knees, push the palms forward, round through the back of the body. Beautiful, and then release as your hands come down at your sides, find your mountain pose. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold, knees bent or straight, totally up to you. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, left leg back, warrior two to the other side. Drop that back heel, turn the toes out. Left hand picks you up. And then just feel nice and strong in your legs and then draw that strength up the side body, out through the fingertips, look forward, take a nice big breath. One bow and arrow pull, take that back hand, bring it forward, clasp the hand, pull the arm back nice and strong, release into your peaceful warrior, drop the back hand, reach the front hand up. Beautiful, and then take it back through your warrior two, finding our triangle pose, straighten that front leg, pop the back hip out, reaching long through the torso, find the handhold that works good for you. And then once you've found it, bottom ribs pull forward, top ribs are reaching up towards the ceiling, left hand extends up, Turn your head, look up to the sky if that feels good. Take a nice big breath. Awesome. Strong in your legs, strong in your side body. Lift up, left hand touches down, right hand reaches up. We reverse our triangle. And then we're gonna spin it all down. Bend that front knee, pivot your back heel, circle your arms down. Beautiful, plant the palms, step back to plank. 
Bring your knees down, rotate the eyes to the elbows, hug the elbows into the ribs as you lower with control, and then pause as you come down, bend both knees and swish your heels a little side to side. One more little swish of the heels side to side, and then we're gonna keep the right leg bent, let the left toes float down, reach your right hand back. Can you catch hold of that right foot? Hug your heel in toward your butt, heart forward, look forward, take a nice big breath. Beautiful, and then release that with control, switch to the other side. Letting the right leg go, bending the left knee, reach your left hand back, can you catch hold of that foot? Hug your heel in toward your butt, rotate your heart forward, look forward, take a breath. Nice, and then with control, release that foot down into drunken serpent. So hands off the outer edges of your mat. Inhale, lift your heart nice and high. Exhale to lower down. Right shoulder up and back. Inhale, lift that right shoulder and look over. Exhale to lower down. Beautiful, take it to the left. Inhale, lift and look over. Exhale to lower down. Back to center, inhale, lifting up. Exhale to lower down, slide the hands in, push your way into a tabletop position. And then from that tabletop position, we're gonna take it into a high kneel. So knees in line with the hips, bring your hands to your hips, lift up into that high kneel, hands into the back pockets, hips come forward, shoulder blades squeeze together, lift your heart, lift your gaze. Take one more breath. Beautiful, when you're ready, nice and slow, release back to your tabletop position, curl your toes under, exhale up to downward facing dog, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands. We're gonna roll our way down into a little ball of yarn here. So you're gonna pick up the heels, bend your knees a lot, bring your butt down toward your heels. And then from here, we're just gonna sit back onto our butt, keeping a bent knee position. And then we're gonna roll our way down to the ground. So curl your tailbone under, roll your way down with control. Nice, and then once you found your way down, just give a second to get yourself situated. Make sure you're closing your hair in comfortable position. And then we're gonna take it right into a figure four, right leg across the left, lift the left leg up, thread your hands through, find your comfortable handhold, draw it in for a light little squeeze, make some space for yourself here. Let your shoulders soften, let your jaw soften. Keeping this handhold, we're gonna take three bend and straightens of the left leg. So the right leg is gonna stay just as it is. And we're gonna lift that left heel up towards the sky, bend and bring it back down. Lift the left leg up towards the sky, bend and bring it back down. One more, just like that. Lift the leg up towards the sky, bend and bring it back down and then gently release everything to the ground, stepping the right leg off the left and take it to the other side. Left leg across the right. Lift the right leg up, thread your hands through, find your comfortable handhold. Make a little space for yourself. Keep your shoulders soft. Awesome, and then keeping the left leg just as it is, we're gonna bend and straighten the right leg. So lift that right heel up towards the ceiling and then bend and bring it back down. Lift the right leg up towards the ceiling. Bend and bring it back down. One more just like that. Lift the leg up. Bend and bring it down. One last breath here. And then when you're ready, release. Unwind your legs. Step your feet to the outer edges of your mat. Take a couple of windshield wipers here. One more windshield wiper each side, and then we're gonna pull those legs up into a tabletop position and drop the knees over to the right. So a little spinal twist here, drop the knees to the right. See if you can keep your left shoulder down on the ground, right hand to the outsides of your thighs, push your thighs into the ground, push your left shoulder down, turn your head to the left, take a nice big breath. Awesome, when you're ready, release your handhold. Pull those legs through center over to the other side, dropping the knees over to the left, keeping your right shoulder grounded if you can. 
left hand to the outside of the thighs, push the thighs into the ground, push your right shoulder into the ground, turn your head to the right, take a nice big breath. Wonderful, when you're ready, release your handholds, bring both knees back to center. We're gonna hug them into the chest one last time and then maybe hang on to your left knee, send your right leg up towards the sky, give your right leg a nice little gentle shake. One more little shake of that leg and then pull the left knee in towards your chest, lift your, pull your right knee into your chest, left leg up to the sky and give your left leg a nice little shake. Beautiful, one more little shake of that leg and then we're gonna float both feet down to the ground into that bent knee position and we're gonna finish with our little galloping horse movement maneuver. So you're gonna push into the heels and bring that little rock into the body. So let your hands find a comfortable place on the floor and then just push into your heels and you go as fast or as slow as feels appropriate to you. So as you push into your heels, the head reaches up towards the top of your mat and you just find this little up and down maneuver. Take one or two more good gallops. And then when you're ready, let that come to stillness and then ask your body, where would be your best Shavasana? Would it feel good to come back to constructive rest? Would it feel good to take that more traditional shape? Or do you want a little bit extra for the hips? Bring it into Supta Baddha Konasana or recline cobbler's pose with the soles of the feet together, knees out to the left and to the right. So find the variation or position with your body that feels right to you. Start to bring your awareness back into your body. Gently wake up the fingers and wake up the toes. Start to find some gentle movement into your body that feels appropriate. So start to wake up your ankles, wake up your wrists, wake up your knees, wake up your hips. And then if it feels really good to do so, take that big good morning stretch. Reach your arms up and overhead and stretch long from fingers to toes and take a nice deep breath back into your body. Awesome. And then in your own way, at your own time, at your own pace, start to find your way up to a comfortable seated position, maybe coming to Sukhasana or any other seat that feels good in your body. Great, and then if you're wearing glasses, I'll just suggest that you take them off, place them somewhere safe, and we're gonna bring a little fire into our palms. So bring your palms together, rub your palms together, get a little friction, create a little bit of heat or warmth in your hands. And then once you feel like your hands are nice and good and hot, we're gonna place them right on the hip bones. Close your eyes down, take a nice deep breath in. Nice slow breath out. Bring your hands back together, fire up those palms, get them nice and good and hot. 
And once you feel like they're nice and good and hot, right to the low belly. So below the belly button, close your eyes down, take a nice deep breath in. Nice, slow breath out. Bring your palms back together, fire up those palms, get them nice and good and hot. Once they're nice and good and hot, we're gonna stack them right on the solar plexus. So below the ribs, but above the belly button, close your eyes down, take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Bring those palms together, fire them up, get them nice and good and hot. Once your hands feel nice and good and hot, we're gonna stack them right on top of the heart. Close your eyes down, take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Fire up your palms, get them nice and good and hot. And this time we usually flip our thumbs and catch a little handhold there, but we're gonna change our handhold around our throat chakra just a little bit. So fire up your palms. And then one hand is gonna come in front of the throat, one hand behind the back of the neck, soft in your grip. Close your eyes down, take a nice deep breath in. Nice slow breath out. Awesome. Bring your hands back together, fire up your palms, get them nice and good and hot. And then once your hands are really good and hot, as hot as you can get them to be, we're gonna take the heels of the hands and rest them on our eyes. Let your eyes rest into your palms. Let your head tilt down, take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. And then one last time, bring those hands together, fire up those palms, get them nice and good and hot. And then we're gonna interlace the fingers, pointers up towards the sky, take a big stretch, arms up and overhead, look to your hands. And then when you're ready, bring those hands right into heart center, Anjali Mudra, bow your head to your heart. Breathing in love and gratitude for yourself, for your mind, for your body, and for all of your hard work. And then breathe in a whole bunch of extra love and gratitude that you can carry with you through the rest of your day and into your new year. And when you feel ready, gently lift up through the top of your head, gently open your eyes. I bow to you. If your glasses are off, you might wanna put them back on.